What's up guys, today it's Dr. GTA and we are going to be showing you how to install your LSPDFR and Raychook on either version, Steam or Retail today and update it to the most current version which is 0.28 like everybody has been wanting and they've been wanting to know how to get it updated so they can actually play the game and use all the new callouts and stuff like that so we're going to be showing you today, today in that uh, video so first off, if you do enjoy these videos and this video helps you anyway, please leave a like and um, also subscribe for more updates including mods, tutorials, and other fun things as well. So now first off we're going to go ahead and get into this. Um, if you have already have your game running and you've already actually been playing LSPDFR in the lowest patch and you want to use those new callouts and stuff, all you have to do is download this uh, Rage plugin hook right here, Open Alpha. And what you're going to do is once you get it downloaded, you're just going to open it up and you're just going to copy it over into your root of your uh, GTA 5 directory. You don't need the README or the SDK or the license. You don't need that. All you have to do is go to GTA 5 data folder, go over here, and then copy this stuff over here. And that's all you have to do. Drag it over and it should fix that problem with the 0.28 and update everything. And you should be able to run your rage hook. Um, make sure everything's unblocked, obviously, in here. And uh, run the program as admin and it should be good to go. Now for those of you who need to completely install it from scratch, we're going to start now and do that. So now I already have Raychook plugin 0.28 downloaded. I'm going to leave that downloaded because we're going to use that as well. Then we're going to go to lspdfr.com uh, and we're going to download the files that we need, which is the download file for lspdfr 0.2. Um, there's two files here you're going to notice one's different file sizes. It's just because how they're compressed. So I would just go with whichever one you have. You can open zips, download the zip. If you don't have WinRare, open the get the zip. But if you do have WinRare, then open this. So I'm gonna download the WinRare one. Um, once I get it in, you know, all palm treed and what flowers and all that stuff. Uh, I think that's it. And then I'm gonna go ahead and open it, download it, submit it, whatever. Once it gets downloaded, I'm gonna navigate to the root of my five folder, which is going to be for me Steam, Steam Apps, Common Grand Theft Auto 5, which is going to be in the program files x86. Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Grand Theft Auto 5. And that's going to be in local disk C. Um, for those of you who don't have that uh, and you have retail versions, it's probably going to be Program Files, Rockstar Games, and it's just going to be right in here. So local disk C, Program x86, Rockstar Games, and then just probably right here is the root. Um, the root of your game, if you don't know where that's at, is actually going to be wherever your GTA 5 EXE and the launcher are located. And you might have Play GTA 5 instead of GTA 5 launcher if you have retail. So don't worry about that. That's the same thing as the launcher. Now we're gonna go ahead and open this up. We're gonna see we have a lot of stuff in here. I'm gonna close that out and put this over here. Take all these files in here, except for the readme, the install text and the RPG readme and the license and that's pretty much it. And all you gotta do is drag this over and copy it to the root of your directory. Obviously I've already done this and I don't really need to do this. So I'm, I'm just gonna skip it, but you're gonna need to overwrite all those files if they do. If not, just let them drag and drop over. Then once you've done that, you successfully installed the mod. Now in order to get it updated to the latest patch, you're going to need to update a couple things, which you're going to need to go and uh, get the RPGH 0.28, which we downloaded in the very first part of the video. And you're just gonna need to copy that over here and it's gonna update everything accordingly. And I've already done it, I don't need to do it, and that's pretty much all you have to do. Now, uh, one more thing I wanna make sure you have updated is your EXEs and your launcher. Right click properties, go to compatibility, I mean details tab, and you're gonna see it's 505.2 for file version, product version. Make sure those are updated for, vote for both the launcher or the GTA 5 Play and the actual EXE, GTA 5 EXE. If they're not, you're going to need to update this. Um, one thing I would recommend if you are trying this from scratch is uh, probably should have said in the beginning of the video, but you can go and uh, play your game and run it once you have it installed, and it'll make it'll make you download all the updated files if you have the retail version. Now, if you have the Steam version, it's not going to do that, but um, if you have the retail version, it's going to download the automatic updates for you, so you can do that. Make sure you go online and the game works first, and then come back, install, and do this tutorial if that works, and I think it should work for you. Also, make sure you check the EXEs like I did, properties, details, to check that. And that's pretty much all you have to do. Now, um, you're going to right-click properties on this. Make sure this is run as admin compatibility. Um, another thing you want to do is make sure everything's unblocked. 
So when you run this for the first time, it's going to give you some unblock messages and stuff like that. You need to unblock files. Yes, you want to unblock. And I would recommend if there's a setting tab you see, make sure you go into that and set it up as developer mode. I'll show you that real quick. I'll hit Rage Plugin EXE. Mine's already been set up because I have an INI right here. And in the INI it says it is a... Um, that, but I'm going to hit this gear and I'm going to load into the developer. See, so start with developer enabled ID. Um, I'm going to cancel that out real quick. Once this loads up um, and you already have yours all set up, you can get into the configuration again by hitting the settings. But I'm, I'm already in it. See, I dis disabled the check verification system because it's better. I also disabled the alpha because it puts that random thing in your videos and that's not good. I also put load all plugins on startup. I also have advanced enable developer mode checked and I just save that and that's pretty much how I have it set up now before it completely loads I'm gonna go ahead and uh, in the process and that's pretty much it for this that's all you have to do guys um, it should work for you also if you have problems updating you need to update on Steam you just go to your Steam um, you right click you, uh, you go to your uh, games, wherever your community is, library. Uh, once you get to it, right click on Grand Theft Auto 5, go to properties, go to local files, verify your integrity of game cache. You click this button, it's going to verify. You can close everything else out, but it's going to sit there and let it update and verify everything. If it says it needs to update files, let it do it. It's not going to hurt your game. It's going to fix it to work on the latest patch. And once it's done, it should take a couple minutes, maybe more than that, depending on how much you have to download. If it says it needs to download files, it'll download them for you. That's pretty much all you have to do. And that's pretty much the simplest tutorial I can give you for installing stuff. Another thing you want to do is you probably want to go down here and you're going to have a folder if you want to install callouts, which is going to be a plugins folder. You want to go in there. Most plugins will go in here and some of the stuff for callouts will go in the LSPDFR folder as well. It'll give you brief instructions on whatever you get. Um, in order where in this in regard you on which place you need to install them in LSPDFR right here You might have to install sound files uh, Depending on what callouts you're using and stuff like that, but that's pretty much all you have to do in order to get uh, your game running um, One more thing I want to recommend actually you use is uh, open IV which you can download in the description as well And I'll ha I show I have mine right here When you run it, it's gonna select Grand Theft Auto 5 and you can actually install car mods with this. All you have to do is set up a mods folder. So if you go to the GTA 5 folder, you right click, make a new folder, and name it mods. See, I have the same folder. And pretty much I already have some files in here. These files are actually where I put my mods and stuff in. Only the files I'm altering and say I need to install things to go in this folder. So what I do is I take them out of the root. Say if I need to install something to the x64 e rpf right here i copy it and then i go into my mods folder and i paste it in the mods folder and you can see i have it already in here now once that's here you can exit it and you go back to your open iv you have a little purple folder and that's where it shows your your mods you're going to the e and go into how it says to go into it and install the files accordingly to the address just like you would on windows and you'll see you get in here, here's the vehicles all you do is hit this plus button Go navigate to the vehicle you want to replace and hit open and it'll replace it. And if you type in up here at the top, police or whatever you want to do, it'll show the vehicle. If you double click, it'll show the vehicle rendered and everything like that. And sometimes they don't show up, but that's just because people don't want you to rip the vehicle. So just don't mind it if it doesn't show up or if it's really small like that, don't worry about it. That means the cars and if this file size changed, it should work. Um, also, one thing I would recommend is when you're replacing cars, is make sure your file names are the same as the ones replacing because if it doesn't overwrite the file, it's not going to be seen in the game. And that's a big problem. I've had a lot of people ask me that question. Um, yeah, and that's pretty much how you install car mods. Other paths are going to be needed to install other various car mods, like going into here. DLC packs, I have a lot of them. These patches are updates, and you have to install more car mods into these to overwrite E because E is the default directory. But yeah, that's pretty much where you install your cars at. Um, I think that's pretty much it. I'm going to get out of here. Um, another thing you recommend is once you get all your cars installed, you're going to need an ASI to actually load your cars. So you'll go to Tools, ASI Manager. You're going to make sure you have your ASI Manager load up and it says check, check or uninstall for both, which means you have them installed right here. Um, and if you if they don't, you can click the button. It'll install them, uninstall them. A way you can find out if you have this is going to the root of your five folder and it should have a open IV ASI and it should have a DN put dot DLL which mine is right 
right here. So that's what those are the two files you get whenever you install them with OpenIV. And now once you do that, you're pretty much done. Um, the other thing I recommend you do in order to get these to load is you're gonna have to download this thing called script hook V. Um, we'll go to uh, gta5mods.com, go to tools, and you go down here and you're gonna need to install this right here. Script hook V. You're gonna download it. Go to this site and you're gonna download this right here. Open it, bin, and take the D input and the script hook V. But if you already have the D input installed, you don't need to do it or you can overwrite but because it's the same file. And you're gonna drag it to the root of your five folder. It's gonna replace everything. I'm not replacing them because I already have them in there. Um, that's pretty much what you need in order to load your um, OpenIV to load the car mods. And that's pretty much all you need. I hope you guys liked this video. If it did, leave a like. Um, thanks for watching and let me know in the comments if you need any more help with anything or what you want to learn how to install or any of that stuff. Yeah, so I'll see you later.